From the Earth's crust to the depths of hell, Wheat La Coche investigates. Let's know how you spell investigate. I know! It's a. <clears throat> Right, okay, let's do this. So what are we talking about? Zombies, right. Over the last 15 years, zombies have become the topic of increasing fascination in all parts of the Western world. Like, seriously, ridiculously, a lot. It's sort of like you're either a zombie person or you're a vampire person. And while folk tales of zombies have existed for centuries, what is it that's made them popular in the past decade or more? <laughs> Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead, yep. Regardless of age, ethnicity, or background, the vast majority of people seem to feel that zombies are awesome. Maria, do you like zombies? Yeah. Mm -hmm, they're hot. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how awesome are zombies? <laughs> they're at least an 11. On a scale of 1 to 10, how awesome are zombies? <laughs> Negative 5. But what exactly is a zombie? Mark, what is a zombie? My opinion? Yes, sir. Anybody who f***s with a big voodoo woman named Phyllis. Quite simply, a zombie is the reanimated dead who craves brains. Really? Lauren, complete this sentence. Zombies are... Not real. Exactly. See, I agree, I agree. We'd like to give you an in-depth examination of the history, the culture, and the psychological workings of the zombie lover. But we're not going to. Instead, we're just going to ask some people whom I had stand in front of a camera some questions. Zach. Would you destroy a fuzzy, furry, cute zombie kitten? Yeah, probably. Hey Carson, would you ever be a zombie for Halloween? Um, maybe. Kaylin, why do you think zombies eat brains? Cause they're, cause they smell. So why don't you just shut your f***ing mouth? Which wrestling move do you think would, worst, would work best in subduing a zombie? How about, uh, good old fashioned lariat? Would that do the job? If it's a Ryback, let's start with Ariat. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Tombstone is a great answer because you bust open their heads. Oh, yeah. Tombstone pile drive. Or. Lauren? Hi. How would you kill a zombie? With my hands. Samara? Yeah. How would you kill a zombie? Oh, actually, I think you're supposed to cut the head off. Or, you know what I would do? <laughs> actually. I'd get on a boat and flee because they can't swim. Make a zombie face. Interesting input as always. But now that we've heard from the people who are above the ground, let's talk to the people below the earth. I went to a location where potential zombies hang out in order to get the opinions of one. Right, so you are currently dead right now, is that correct? Do you have any plans to eat my brain? Do you have any plans full stop? Thank you for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Respect. So just when we think we can conclude that there are no zombies, this footage arrives from Broomfield, Colorado. An actual interview with an actual zombie. And he's Mormon too. Who, who would have thought? Jim. Yes. What are, what are some big challenges you face being a Mormon zombie? Well. I'd like to spread the word of God. I believe that everyone should know. Um, everyone should know about the book. But I also want brains. Uh, so there's that. It's, I'm conflicted, to be honest. Are you treated differently because you're a Mormon? I can see how you think that, but to be honest, I get treated more unfairly for being a zombie than I do for being a Mormon. That might be shocking, but that's absolutely the truth. Tune in next time as we others, not any others. I am American Zombie. <laughs> ah!